Hey guys, welcome back to part two of the iMac Revival. Uh, we're trying to make this old iMac new again. It's a model A1195. Uh, we failed miserably on the memory of... This is what happens when you don't get your RAM in right. You get the black screen. Memory upgrade was going to be part two in this series, but uh, we just couldn't get it to happen. I tried different combinations of the same speed memory. I tried a two gig and one gig. Went to every Mac. It says you can put three gigs of RAM in this thing, but I just couldn't get it to work. Um, so we're back to two gigs of memory. The SSD we did in the last video. And today, we're gonna go old school and we're gonna install, install Linux Lite from a DVD. Another fail we had. We could not get this to install at all from USB. Lots of problems. Uh, just couldn't get the USB to get recognized by the recovery mode of the Mac. So we went old school, burn a DVD on another computer, and it installed fine from there. So uh, let's get to it. We'll, uh, we'll see how it went. Hey guys, um, welcome back. Um, this is the part where we had to boot from DVD. This is the part where we had to boot from DVD. Uh, you have to boot into recovery mode, so you hold down the option key and you boot the iMac while the DVD is in the drive, and then you click on the DVD and it will boot from that DVD. And on our DVD we have Linux Lite. Um, it is going to boot to this menu and um, you can start Linux Lite. So what that is, is that's like the live version of Linux. Um, that you've seen on other versions of Linux where it you can try it without installing it So you got to have to you have to go ahead and uh, pre pretend like you're trying it So uh, I'm gonna hit enter on start Linux Lite here and let the OS load um, Because once once it's loaded in what it's called usually live mode, then we can install it uh, so when we get the golden feather we know that uh, um it's booting from the DVD and actually running Linux Lite in live mode. So this takes a while because uh, it's loading it all from, from DVD. Uh, once it's booted, um, it boots up to this uh, welcome screen. Uh, I was looking all over for a while trying to find a way to install this. I couldn't find it. Um, I kept looking on this pop-up screen. It's telling me to install updates and do all this other stuff, which is good and useful. But finally, I open my eyes and I see the little black icon on the left. That's how you actually install it. It's not on that pop-up screen. So it took me a minute to figure that out. Um, I'm impatient and uh, fully admit mostly my fault. But uh, what we're going to do next is just blow away this 1075 install because it's slow. And, and, and we're going to go ahead and install Linux Lite. So we double-click that. And uh, it's going to start the install process. And the install process... Uh, since I had to do it from DVD and could not get USB to work, it is very slow. Uh, I haven't done this in a long time from, from uh, optical media, so it churns a lot, it clunks a lot, makes a lot of noises. Uh, I'll edit most of that out, but it's going to ask you the normal questions that it asks during install. You know, what time zone are you in? Um, you know, uh, where do you want to install it? Are you sure you want to format this drive? You know, all the normal ones. And then as it's copying files... It's going to go through and uh, show you splash screens, just like any other OS install, kind of like, uh, almost like their, their marketing features, I guess. Um, but it, yeah, like I said, it went slow. You see a lot of spinning cursor, um, but uh, it's going from DVD, so I just had to be patient. And this is an old iMac, right? I couldn't get the USB to go. So I'll hear some of the splash screens. Um, uh, but it installed pretty good, uh, copied files, and, and I did have trouble getting the DVD out. We're going to get to that in a second, um, which was something kind of strange. But anyway, uh, copy files, everything went on, and, and it was really uneventful. So let's get to some of the problems we had. Okay, guys, one problem I'm having with this iMac is um, ejecting the DVD um, after it reboots, so I'm trying to uh, get it to boot from the first hard disk, but that is not working. So now I'm going to boot back from DVD and see if I can eject it within the software. Okay, I'm going to see if I can wing this real quick and get this 
uh, DVD ejected. Let me see if I can see it over here. Drives. Uh, there it is. Let's see. Can I eject here? No. Now, in the old days, you used to be able to open up a terminal. So let's see if we can type eject in the terminal window and see. Ooh, how about maybe sudo eject? Says it's busy. Okay, guys, that is not working. So, what I am going to do is I am going to go ahead and restart the computer in recovery mode and uh, see if I can get it ejected in recovery mode. Oh, looky there, when I shut down, it actually popped out. So it looks like it's working now. All right, boot it up. Let's uh, install Open Broadcaster and see what the performance is like. And don't forget to install updates, very important. This is going to take a while. Lots of updates to download and install. Okay guys, I bombed on OBS, sorry. Um, I really wanted to record a screen here. Uh, I did try a couple other uh, screen recorders that didn't work, but I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna film with the camera. I gotta say, this thing with Linux Lite is very, very zippy. Um, let's pull up uh, multimedia, let's pull up VLC. Um, give me a second, I'm going to load one of my videos on here and see if we can read it. I'll copy over a video real quick, and this is a big video, it's about a gig and a half. It's actually the last iMac video I made, so let's, uh, let's let that copy, and then we'll try to run it. Okay guys, file is copied. I am going to open it in VLC, copy it to the desktop. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we Ooh, are going to that's a scary fella. Hard drive in a very old iMac. We're going to change it from regular uh, hard drive to SSD. It is dog slow with a regular hard drive, so we're going SSD. Let's get to it. Okay, guys. Down in the nerd cave. Sorry for the mess. Looks pretty good. That plays videos fine. Let's go ahead and trash that. Uh, let's go through the, the hard drive here, uh, the file manager I should say. Um, that should go fast with our new SSD in there. Um, here's all my drives. Uh, looks good. We can go into the file system and span around there. Drives, all of that looks good. Let's close that out. Uh, let's do a little web browsing. Uh, and this is using the browser that came with it. Um, let's go to... Hey, web browsing's good, scrolling's good. There's no lag in it, I will say that. So it is, it's pretty good. Um, we're gonna probably install some programming tools. Uh, I'll let my son do that, but right now I think this is ready to turn over to him. So I think this is going to wrap it up for part two. I would call this a success. It really is nice and fast. Um, I, I would recommend people do this to their old iMac. Definitely fast. It, it, as long as you don't have requirements for specific apps and you can run Linux, definitely uh, try this out. Hey, that's all we have for today, guys. Uh, part three coming up on this. I think the only other thing we can really do to this is add a second monitor. So we're going to work on that. Um, we may do some updates on some of the tools we put on this and, and how we use this as a, as a coding machine. Uh, why don't you leave a comment and let me know what you would like to see us do on this. And, and we'll see if we can uh, try some different things out. Uh, overall, recommend it to anybody. Uh, they have an old iMac like this. 
Uh, Lion, we 1075, OS 1075, it runs so slow. This runs blazing fast. Uh, highly recommended. Uh, look for the link in the description.